Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this Thursday morning. And uh, it's going to be another scorcher. Wow, God is blessing us and blessing us. We really are having an Indian summer. Mark chapter 4 and verse 35. On that day, when evening came, he said to them, written in red, let's go to the other side. So he had been explaining to his disciples the parables. It became evening and he said, let's go to the other side. And they get, they get into a boat and they go to the other side. And there's events that happen as they go. But those words there, let's go to the other side. God has given us the opportunity to be proactive. He says, let's go. There are many times when Jesus says in the scriptures, go. And he says in this situation, let's go to the other side. So we're all going to the other side. We are going. Let's go to the other side. We could stay here, but let's go to the other side. Jesus was about to reveal to the disciples something that would impact their lives and that they would never forget for as long as they lived. And the story we're about to enter into is either a true story or it's a lie. God is able to have a level of authority in Jesus, not seen on earth by anyone ever before. And although there were occasions when God spoke through people on earth before Jesus, no one had exercised the level of authority that Jesus was about to show us in this revelation story. But he says, let us. So he includes the disciples in this experience. And God wants to include us in the experiences of life. Or more to the point, God wants to be included in our experiences. <clears throat> As we face experiences every day, God is saying, let me join you in your experience. Let us go to the other side. Let's go through this together. Let's be a part of this journey that will enable us to learn and embrace and encounter. And as we see God working in our lives in that level and that insight and that understanding, when we see and as we see God working, it builds us up in our faith. It shows us that our faith in God is not wasted. It shows us that God isn't dead, but he's alive, that he's there that he's interested, that he wants to be part of everything that goes to make up our lives. People often say, I never hear God speak to me. But God is speaking to them every day in different ways. They haven't learned to listen and they haven't learned to tune in their ear yet. But God is saying it to you today in your predic predicament, in your problem, in your situation. Let us go to the other side. Let us go through this experience together and we will encounter all kinds of good things and bad things. But let us do it together. God is always wanting to share in our lives. That's what he made us for, to be part of everything that we are. We were never made to be individuals, individualistic, meism. We were made to share life with God and our fellow man. And it's only as we get back to sharing our lives with God are we able to share life with our fellow man in the way God so longed for it to be so from the beginning? Brothers and sisters, let us go through this day with God and he will take us to the other side. God bless you. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.